Today I'm going to talk about the new hype in town, Bitcoin ETFs. This is a big deal because now you can gain exposure to Bitcoin without the troublesome step of directly owning the asset in crypto exchanges like Huopi, FTX and things like that. In this video, we will discuss how to invest in the Bitcoin ETF in a step-by-step -step manner. Watch until the end because we will also showcase a few factors you need to consider especially when you want to select a Bitcoin ETF provider. So, but first, let's talk about what is a Bitcoin ETF and how does it work. So, a Bitcoin ETF or exchange trader fund allows you to buy shares, okay, that represent the digital currency or Bitcoin in this case. And unlike traditional ETFs that track a basket of stocks, a Bitcoin ETF tracks the price of bitcoin right so the value of a bitcoin etf shares will reflect the performance of bitcoin itself so for example right if the bitcoin move up one percent the bitcoin etf will also move up one percent so it doesn't matter whether you are buying it at uh you're buying the bitcoin etf at twenty dollars or hundred dollars basically it will translate to the same corresponding percentage gain or loss right and next the bitcoin etf issuer which we will touch on them later on buys bitcoin and helps to safe keep it with a custodian on behalf of the etfs investors like you all right so you can see from this picture that coinbase actually dominates as the bitcoin etfs custodian right and next then the Bitcoin ETF issuers will issue the shares in the fund for you to buy and gain access to the underlying Bitcoin in exchange for an annual management fee. Simply put, when you invest in a Bitcoin ETF, you are essentially buying shares in a pool of you know, Bitcoin and hence creating new ETF shares to match the demand. Conversely, when you sell your shares, they are redeemed and will adjust the number of ETF shares in circulation. Okay, before we talk about how to invest in Bitcoin ETFs, you need to understand some of the important differences between buying a Bitcoin versus buying a Bitcoin ETF. Okay, the first thing is about the ownership. All right, so when you buy Bitcoin directly, you have full control over the Bitcoin itself, the cryptocurrency because it will be stored in a digital wallet and protected by your own private keys. In contrast, when you invest in a Bitcoin ETF, means that you are actually only owning shares in the fund itself rather than the actual Bitcoin itself. So the fund manager will help to oversee the underlying assets, which is Bitcoin. The second thing is fees, all right? So while Bitcoin ETFs aim to mirror the Bitcoins, you know, price movement. Some elements like the ETF creation process and the management fees can result in minor deviations from the actual Bitcoin price. Direct investment in Bitcoin may involve uh, lower fees, but will require more knowledge about how you can keep it safe, you know, how do you transact directly in the crypto exchange and things like that. The third point is about trading hours, all right? So the trading hours differ greatly because ETFs are traded like stocks, right? From 9 to 5 during normal business hours. While Bitcoin doesn't sleep. Okay, so basically it trades continuously 24-7. And that's why many youngsters nowadays are in action, right? Even during the weekends. But then again, this discrepancy all right, can lead to a price gap in a Bitcoin ETF. Especially when you know when Bitcoin during the weekend it undergoes significant changes, you know a uh, Bitcoin ETF at the market open will have a huge price gap. So this is something that we need to take note of. Nevertheless, there are notable advantages. All right, for Bitcoin ETFs, for one, uh, the ease of trading stands out as a huge benefit for Bitcoin ETF. So we come to the point of accessibility. Okay, so. When you want to own a Bitcoin itself, it can only be done through a crypto exchange. So you have to go and do the verification. You need to find the right uh, crypto broker and things like that. But 
with Bitcoin ETF, they can literally be uh, together with other stocks, right? So like your normal stock broker, okay? Uh, and talking about crypto exchanges, so this is especially noteworthy for us retail investors, given that crypto exchanges, you know, they have, uh, they introduce an additional layer of risk. Because when you think about it, past incidents of these exchanges going bankrupt or facing legal issues, um, namely like uh, FTX, you know, going bankrupt, Home Not, and even Binance with all these uh, legal rules. Okay, all these underscore the potential risk involved associated with crypto exchanges themselves. Okay, and the last point that I want to point out is uh, regulations. So Bitcoin ETFs are subject to regulatory oversight and considered as a more familiar investment option for traditional investors. Okay, especially for the mom and pop, for the average Joe investors. You know, when you have an ETF versus when you have to go into a particular exchange and you don't know what is going to happen, is it going to be a scam and things like that, right? So Bitcoin ETF operating in a more regulated environment. So all in all, there are pros and cons of investing in Bitcoin ETFs, right? But I would say that it's a huge step forward for the crypto industry itself, at least for retail investors who want to diversify into this space uh, at a more gradual pace. Investing in Bitcoin ETFs is actually very easy, similar to buying any other ETF or stock. And it's just four simple steps. The first step is to research on the available Bitcoin ETFs and their expense ratios. The second step is to choose a brokerage all right, that offers the ETF that you're interested in. And the third point is to open a brokerage account and the, deposit the funds that are required. So let's say you want to buy maybe 5,000 worth of Bitcoin ETFs, then you have to deposit 5,000 in. And the last step is to just purchase shares of the Bitcoin ETF through the brokerage platform. Very simple, right? Okay, so here's a list of the Bitcoin ETFs. Okay, so in the landmark decision, the US SEC right, finally approved 11 Bitcoin ETFs on 10 of January 2024. And you can see the list over here. The reasons for choosing a particular Bitcoin ETF is also pretty straightforward, given that they only invest in one asset, Bitcoin. Okay, uh, but there are still three things to consider here. Okay, uh, again, the competition is pretty stiff with most of them having fee waivers for the first few, first few months, like uh, six months and beyond, right? Or up to a certain threshold of $1 billion. For instance, the BlackRock iShares Bitcoin Trust or short form as iBit and Felicity Wise Origin Bitcoin Fund, FBTC, both have relatively low expense ratios of 0.25% after the waiver period, which can be appealing for cost-conscious investors. Next, we also want to take a look at uh, reputable issuers, which we are familiar with. So as mentioned, Validity and BlackRock, they are traditional asset managers with you know, hundreds of millions or even billions of dollars inside. So the chances of them you know, going bankrupt or having some issues are on the low side. On the other hand, we also have Bitwise. Okay, Bitwise is a bit B, all right? Uh, it's also highly specialized in the crypto space since it launched its first crypto index fund in 2017. So on top of that, we can see how these three top players command over 80% of the total 1.4 billion inflows in the first two days of this going live. Okay, these three top players already take up the big market share of 80%, right? And so in the ETF world where more AUM, more assets under management equal to bigger economies of scale. I would say that uh, for a start, beginners can start off with the, these three biggest Bitcoin ETFs. Next is to choose your broker. Okay, um, 
Since Bitcoin ETF trades like any other security, you can choose either your existing stockbroker or a new global one like Weibo if you don't already have one. You can see an example of uh, iBits pricing, capital inflows and outflows inside this Weibo platform, okay, as shown in this screenshot. The best part of having Weibo as a broker, you can buy fractional shares or do dollar cost averaging regularly, okay, uh, starting from just $10 per week or two weeks or even monthly basis. So if you're interested to obtain attractive promotions under Weibo, check out my Weibo affiliate link down below in the description. Of course, the main consideration of whether you want to buy a Bitcoin ETF is to look at the price of the Bitcoin, whether it will go up in the long run. And if you were to ask me, the future of Bitcoin looks promising, given that there are various positive developments expected to shape the entire landscape of cryptocurrencies. So first of all, we have the tailwinds of cryptocurrencies. All right. And first of all, I will say that Investors are definitely pleased with the approval of Bitcoin ETFs by the US SEC because this signals a growing acceptance and recognition of the whole crypto industry. In addition, Bitcoin ETFs can boost the demand and liquidity of Bitcoin as well as attract more institutional players coming into the market. Imagine just securing 1-2% to of the trillions of dollars in funds management sitting on the sidelines. Okay, the second point is about Bitcoin as a digital goal, right? Um, so gold itself has always been a reserve that's adopted by central banks all over the world. But if you think about it, Bitcoin and gold is pretty similar, but okay, um, despite being less established and more prone to the price volatility, Bitcoin offers much more uh, accessibility, right? In terms of the ease of transmission, uh, be it whether you can send to each other, division and storage compared to gold itself. This positions Bitcoin favorably in areas such as payments, money transfers and other monetary applications. For instance, the Bitcoin network has already facilitated the transfer of over 100 trillion in value since the inception. Furthermore, the gold market itself is substantial, presently valued at $16 trillion. If Bitcoin can secure a portion of this market share in future or maybe just effectively compete in alternative domains, there's much, much more room for growth as the crypto market matures. Okay. The third point is about the correlation and the high returns of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin has historically delivered low correlations to stocks and bonds, combined with the superb 116% annualized returns in the past decade from 2014 to 2023. This also indicates that Bitcoin can offer enhanced diversification benefits to a portfolio of traditional assets. Wrap up, Bitcoin ETFs mark a significant milestone in the investment landscape, acting as a bridge between the traditional finance and the emerging world of cryptocurrencies. By making it easier for the average retail investor to gain exposure to crypto, coupled with the stamp of approval right, from regulators, retail investors are much more willing to dabble into these crypto-related products in future. So I want to hear from you. Are you currently sitting on the sidelines or are you going to go out there and try out the Bitcoin ETFs now? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, next, you can also help me a great deal by smashing the like button and subscribing to my channel. Make sure to also ring the notification bell to be updated whenever I post a new video every week. Next up, if you have the time, you can also watch this video where I talk about the top 10 stocks for 2024. As always, remember to do your own due diligence. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.